Hello everyone and welcome back to Carwale. I'm Bilal and today we have with us this, the Tata Tigor EV. As we all know by now, it's the second electric car from Tata after the Nexon EV and we drove it in September last year. You can find a link to our first drive review somewhere around on your screen or in the description below. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at the Tigor EV and tell you 5 reasons why it's worth buying and 2 reasons why it's not. And since this is an EV, we have also put it through an extensive range test. So stay tuned to find out how many kilometers it went before we had to literally push it to the charge point. Since the advent of EVs, their high sticker price has always been the most off-putting factor with different engineering going behind it compared to conventional petrol or diesel powered cars like special EV platforms, mounting of motors on the axle, accommodation of the batteries and its ancillaries all contribute to bringing up the cost of an EV almost two or three segments above its conventionally powered counterpart. But fear not because the Tata Tigor EV is currently the most affordable passenger electric vehicle that you can buy in India right now with prices starting at just under 12.5 lakh which goes all the way till little over 13.5 lakh it's more affordable than its uh, sibling the Nexon EV and it would be some time before we could see a more affordable and smaller electric vehicle on Indian roads than this Looking at the Tigor EV there are very few telltale signs that make it stand out over its conventionally powered sibling it's this grill here, or rather the lack of it because EVs don't need constant air to cool the engine in the engine bay. So you get these flat inserts instead. There are two unique colors for the Tigor EV as well. The one you see here, the teal blue, and the other one is the Daytona grey. Both of these colors look good in metal. Even on the inside, the cabin of the Tigor EV is as conventional looking as its ICE sibling. There's a circular dial for the gear selector that's unique which is same as you get in the Nexon and there are some teal blue highlights around the vents and tri-pointed design on the upholstery and that's about it. Apart from that, everything is carried over without any changes. Even in terms of ride quality and comfort, the EV version matches the standard Tigor. That is, it absorbs bad roads nicely and even at high speeds, the ride remains comfortable. Uh, the light controls also make it easier to drive around in the city. And it's not just the looks. Like the standard Tigor, the electric version also has an NCAP safety rating of 4 stars. So apart from these little changes, the Tata Tigor EV looks pretty conventional. But do you like your EV to look conventional or do you want it to stand out? Do let us know your opinion in a comment section below. The Tigor EV is powered by a 26 kilowatt hour battery pack. Uh, it powers a motor mounted on the front axle and it has an output of around 74 horsepower and the torque figure is rated at around 170 newton meter. Now we have already seen how the Tata Tigor is to drive in everyday scenario but when we had the car for a longer period of time we had to do a range test. Now for these new age electric cars we have devised an exhaustive range test. It's a pretty simple range test to understand. We just charge up the car to 100% then we drive it around on our usual predefined route until the charge runs out like the battery goes from 100% to 0% and that would give us a real world range which you can drive around as well because we test it in real world conditions so before shooting this video i did that range test and uh, it was an exhaustive one because i was behind the wheel for almost 12 hours i started at 100% and drove it drove this Tigor ev till the range and the battery percentage dropped to zero. It was, it was so exhaustive that uh, I had to force my colleague Siddharth to push the car till the last 
point, the few meters I had to push the car to the charging point. And at the end of the day, I found out that the real world range, the real world, the claim range is around 300 plus kilometers, but the real world range of the Tigor EV is around 224 kilometers. The Tigor EV achieved a range of close to 225 kilometers on a single charge in the real world condition. It was driven in bumper to bumper traffic, stopped stationary at those endless traffic signals and with some amount of highway run as well. So if you are planning to buy an EV and if your daily or weekly commute is under 200 kilometers, then the Tigor EV will surely be a lot lighter on your pocket. But how will it be easier on the pocket, you may ask? Well, consider this calculation. For a battery size of 26 kilowatt hour, it will consume 26 units of electricity when charging from 0 to 100%. In a city like Mumbai, consider the per unit charge of a domestic electric connection to be around 10 rupees. So for a full charge, it will cost approximately 260 rupees. And in that 260 rupees, we consider our tested range of 225 kilometers. It computes to a per kilometer cost of just 1.15 rupees. That's way more affordable compared to any petrol or diesel powered car. So if you drive an EV for your everyday commutes, it would be much lighter on your pocket, especially when the fuel prices are on a rise. EVs are inevitable future. Each manufacturer is busy making one, some going completely electric in the years to come. Even the government is taking the initiative to promote electrification. And thanks to its environmental benefits and rising fuel costs, we'll be seeing more electric cars on the roads in the years to come. And similar to how the fuel pumps came across the globe when the internal combustion engine powered four wheelers were prowling the streets many many years ago, we'll see more charging points in the coming days, weeks, months or years. And therefore, with the affordable EVs like the Tigor EV being a forerunner in the affordable electric space, we could expect many more cars to follow suit. A realistic range between 200 and 250 kilometers is more than ample for an average Tigor EV buyer. But Tata has proven that there's more to be had when they introduced a Nexon Max version. With the Max, in the Nexon EV, you get a larger battery pack, more power, faster charging, and definitely a longer range. So Tigor buyers looking for a little extra from their electric sedan can opt out for the Max version if Tata Motor provides one. And if there is a max version of the Tigor EV, it would appeal to a wider range of audience because then you would have choices for powertrain, uh, power output and range as well. So for now, with its given real world range and performance, the Tigor EV is good for those with limited city commutes or for those who want an EV as a secondary car. Now we all know that the standard Tigor with the petrol engine, it's the most affordable sub 4 meter sedan in the segment. Uh, its price ranges from 6.5 lakh to around 8.5 lakhs. Uh, but in comparison, the Tigor EV, it's almost twice of it. And therefore, the Tigor EV buyer would have to drive a significant amount of kilometers just to recover the price difference. But that's not the reason one buys an EV, right? And driving an EV comes with a peace of mind that no fossil fuel is burned and you are releasing less CO2 into the atmosphere. And that's a thumbs up for an EV buyer. But it also needs to be pointed out that the pricing of the Tigor EV makes the Nexon EV look more value for money. Because the Nexon EV range starts at 14.8 lakh rupees, which is just a few lakh more than the Tigors. And for that, you get an SUV stance more power, better ground clearance, and more space on the inside. At the end of the day, the Tata Tigor EV makes for a sensible buying decision. 
It might be the most affordable EV in the market right now, but it's a whole package. And despite its shortcomings, none of them are a deal breaker. To know more about the Tata Tigor EV, you can visit our website www.carwallet.com. And if you already own a Tigor EV, we would love to know your experience with it. So do share it with us in the comments below. That's all for today. Until next time.